Still ahead on Good Day Chicago. Did you know this January is Personal Safety Month? Yeah, do you know uh, some self-defense techniques? No, but we're going to find out, right? All right? That's right. After the break, we'll be teaching you about self-defense and even teaching you a move just in case you feel like you're in danger. Welcome back, everybody. Did you know that January is National Personal Safety Month? And this morning, we're talking about how you can stay safe and how to get away from someone if they try and grab you. So joining us this morning is Debbie Pickus, who is the CEO of Team Fireball, and Tim Rockford, the president of Empower Training Systems. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thanks so nice us. to have you here. Okay, Debbie, explain to me, you know, what, what Team Fireball is, what do you guys do? So we have a personal safety awareness, or a personal safety training company. We go into corporations and businesses bringing awareness and safety and self-defense solutions to companies or businesses or organizations. Okay. Which is something I wouldn't really think about a company hiring you to teach us about. But I yes. guess if I really think about it, it makes sense. It so you guys are working together to bring in um, some ideas. Now, you say that there is a physical, mental, emotional, and environmental awareness that we all need to yes. be aware of. So let's start with the physical. So physical awareness is really understanding your own capabilities and abilities. Can you get away in a situation? Could you find an exit? Mm -hmm. uh, before we shoot to physical defense, though, we like you to really be aware of what you're capable of doing and see if you can somehow get away. Okay, and that's something that you teach in these training classes. We do. Like, give me a simple example of, 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 of what you might do. Just assessing a situation, understanding if somebody's coming at me, is it, that person actually a threat mm -hmm. or a potential situation? Where's the nearest exit? Could I run or get out of that exit or okay. even talk myself out of the situation? Okay, so be aware of your environment. Know, know what you can do. Yes. Um, and then the emotional part, what's that? Well, that's my favorite, actually. Yeah. That's really trusting your gut and, and portraying confidence. In an emotional situation, you, like, you know, you could just freak out a little bit if mm -hmm. something's happening. So you really want to maintain your composure, understand your emotional capabilities, mm -hmm. understand what you're feeling, and then calm down. That's such an important thing, because if you, if you aren't in control of your emotions, everything can go wrong, right? Yes. Okay. And, okay, and so environment awareness. Now, you are also, when you guys bring these bring these techniques into different companies. Mm -hmm. Tell us what role you actually play with this, too. Well, I'm the trainer. Mm -hmm. I developed the program over a period of 30-some years, and yes. uh, um, <clears throat> I just go in and we execute the training with, with the people. Okay. Tim created this program. Okay. I mean, well, we're actually, partnering with him. Let's do this. Let's stand up. Let's do this. Okay. You get Tim, this, you're um, on this side. And you guys are going to do a demonstration for me. So tell, yes. So and, and, and make it this, as simple as you can for the viewers. We don't have a ton of time. What can we learn? Show us. Okay. Well, the first thing is there's a lot of different scenarios that can happen. We're going to go through a grabbing technique, you know, a bear hug. And you got to understand that with a bear hug, a person's not just grabbing you and staying there. They're mm -hmm. probably going to okay, lift you us. up. So a bear hug attack. There's a lot of different ways that Debbie has to loosen my grip first mm -hmm. before she can execute in a strike. She could do a foot stomp. Uh -huh. She could do a knee, put pressure on my knee to hyperextend my knee. Mm -hmm. She could turn a little bit, reach down and grab the inside of the thigh. It's very sensitive. She could strike Squeeze to the groin it. with her uh -huh. lower arm. She could also, at that point, use her head with a headbutt into <laughs> okay. the face. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, that's, so, so that's the that's the most basic thing that somebody can do. Right. Those are okay. just some options. Uh -huh. Just a few of do the again, options. Do it again, real quick. Okay. okay. Show us. So she could do a foot stomp, stomp. push on the knee. Uh -huh. <laughs> but once she feels my grip loosen, that's where she wants to disengage. Uh -huh. She disengages, turn, and follow through with some striking. Okay, but you're a professional. Can I do that? <laughs> Want to Absolutely. try? No, I can't. <laughs> but seriously, can't. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. On the street, are okay. you going to be in workout clothes? So no, you have to right. be able to do it. Okay, so, yes. so what else would you want to show us then? Are, are those the most important ones? Well, there, there's some others from the street, okay. uh, but from before, the front. Before we wrap up, because I really want our viewers to get the most out of this. So, right. so either tell me or show me the most important other thing we need to know. Okay? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so go like ahead. Palm knee. What's that? Like a palm knee. Okay. So okay. from the front, let's go from the front. Mm -hmm. An attack from the front where I grab. She's got to, again, loosen my grip. From there, her hands are in position so to she strike. She just went like this. To okay. strike. Bear hug, palm heel. Okay. So palm, palm heel, grab uh -huh. the head, pull down, Boom. knee strike. And at that point, then she wants to get out then of there. Then I want to so run. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in this morning. I wish we had more, more time. We could talk about this, I think, forever. We want to let people know about your website. Tell us what it is, Debbie. Uh, so website is www.team-fireball.com. Um, and I just want to say that you know you have more information on that. You also have information on how you can help uh, corporations and helping their employees out with all of these things. But thanks so much for coming in this Thank morning. Thank you for having us. us. You know, really important things to think about. So you guys should go home and rewatch this video so you can see what they taught us. What do you Excellent. think, Mark? There's a lot of kneeing to the groin. <laughs>